you save out what you want when you use social media. So you are going to be exposing yourself to that person's customer base and audience base. This way you don't have to, you don't need a lot of capital, a lot of money to invest. If you don't have a social media platform, mm, There is a brand new ebook on the Kim Dave store and in this one we're going to be covering the topic of how to find paying customers for your fashion business. This I have received via comments, emails, DMs from you guys and I've collected all of those questions and written this super helpful and insightful ebook covering topics such as effective marketing strategies, identifying your target customers and this is downloadable, it's a digital file, easy to read, lots of templates in there and this is something you have lifetime access to. So I'm going to leave the link to the ebook in the video description down below for you to grab your copy. If you're watching this video, then you're someone who works from home and you're looking to find your target customer, target audience, and make more sales for your business. Hi, if this is your first time seeing me, my name is Priscilla. I'm an Nigerian women's wear designer based in the UK. I have a platform called Kim Dave, where we share all things fashion, design, and the reality of running a fashion business in this day and age. I'm going to be sharing some practical tips that you can apply from this very day and will get you results by the end of the year. Some of them I have used for myself and they have worked. So I just thought to share. So someone who is in a similar predicament, you'll be able to apply them and get results. If you'd like to find out what these tips are, make sure to keep on watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. So YouTube knows that you guys enjoy videos like this and it would show it to more people on the platform, which would in turn reach more eyes and help someone hopefully in the long run. If you'd like to find out more about this topic, make sure to keep on watching. I would that out of the way and let's get straight into the video. If you've had your business for a while, it means that you most likely have some fabrics, some scraps, some cutoffs that are somewhere stashed in a corner of your studio or of your home. I'm a huge fan of reusing, repurposing and upcycling. So go to your fabric scraps and see which pieces are big enough to be incorporated into a future design or can be used to make something smaller and inexpensive that you could possibly sell online or at a pop-up. You could make scrunchies, you could make hairbands, you could add it as a sleeve to like this kind of basic t-shirt that I'm wearing now. Imagine chopping off this sleeve and then adding like an Ankara sleeve or a jacquard sleeve, basically something that would elevate this simple t-shirt to something even more iconic. Another thing that you could do in terms of like leveraging what you already have is Maybe you could consider creating digital designs. This could be graphics, this could be templates, this could be ebooks, sewing patterns, basically anything that does not require you to have physical stock. This is something that I'm currently doing and in all honesty, I think it would be the future of my brand. So more digital assets, more digital products because that way I'm able to create a value still in the fashion space, but I don't necessarily have to make a new collection every single time. If you don't have a social media platform, why haven't you opened one already? Like, why don't you have an Instagram account? Why don't you have a TikTok page? Why don't you have a Facebook page? Why don't you have a YouTube channel? You don't even have to open all of them. Just pick one or two that aligns with your brand, that aligns with your values, that aligns with the kind of audience that you are trying to reach and post on there. I know I get people saying, oh, I don't do social media, I don't put my business out there, people are nosy. But the beauty about the internet and social media is you reach people outside of your town, your, your village, your country. It opens you to a global audience. It's not just you just posting um, something that we just reach two people down the road. No, someone on the other side of the globe might see your work, might see your product and possibly support your business. It just comes to the territory. You get the good and the bad with social media. It's like a double-edged sword in the sense of you get the access to your customer, your audience, opportunities, followers, all those things where it also comes with the bad of you open yourself up for criticism, you open yourself up to nosy people, but it's just being aware that you save out what you want when you use social media and you essentially just you you turn your eye away from what you don't need that's how i use it at the moment it comes with its own hassle with its own wahala but 
if you use social media cleverly for your business honestly there's a lot of money to be made your customers are there and you don't need a physical space you will not pay rent for instagram you don't have to pay a mortgage for tiktok it's free point number three is to collaborate and network with other creators or other founders either in your industry or an industry complementary to yours the beauty about collaborations is you are going to work with this person who already has your audience they already have their customers so you are going to be exposing yourself to that person's customer base and audience base that's one thing the second thing is you end up learning things from other founders that's what i've actually discovered myself so whenever i collaborate with someone i end up learning something from them i learn from their mistakes i learn from their story and i'm better for it on the long run so collaborations and networking is something i enjoy doing it works for me and you almost don't need to pay something every time because you guys it's like a win-win scenario for the two of you if you decide to do a collaboration especially if you are the same level in terms of growth in terms of reach you don't need to pay anything to each other so it's free of charge so collaborate with someone who is you know in your town in your country that you can easily travel to that person maybe make a video together or do a reel or do a tiktok something that would help you to show your product to show what you're capable of doing to this person's audience without you having to create an entirely new collection my next point is around the sort of like business model that you could possibly adapt if you're someone who does clothing especially like women's wear clothing or even men's wear is to try out either the pre-order or the made-to-order way of doing things you could decide to do this for a garment that is maybe more expensive to make or takes a long time to create just let the audience know let the customers know that this piece is available for sale but it is made to order so it is only when you place an order on the shop that is when it is actually caught made and shipped to the client this model also gives the the buyer a sort of exclusive feel because they know when they made that purchase that item was made specifically for them it also gives them the opportunity to customize the piece you could tell them oh i could make it shorter longer this you can do free of charge or with an additional cost but it basically just makes them feel a little bit more special because it was only made when they placed that order so they know it's something that was made just for them so this way you don't have to you don't need a lot of capital a lot of money to invest you just make your samples shoot the pictures either post them on instagram or on your website where people can basically see them and place orders lastly it will be in-person events this could be a pop-up workshop trunk show catwalk show anything that allows you to interact with your customer or potential buyers face to face you essentially don't need to rent a shop for like a year the way this would typically work if you're doing a pop-up would be to pay for a reel or a space for maybe a week or a month however long that you ha have an agreement with the organizers i typically like to do this for a week or two i have one running at the moment at somerset house and this gives the audience the opportunity to come into a physical space try on the products and interact with you the founder in this scenario it gives you an opportunity as well to also see who your target customer is which i think is priceless research and that you can feed into future projects that you work on if you have any more tips that we could possibly apply to get more sales reach our target audience and target customers a lot better as someone who works from home please share them in the comment section down below i hope you found this video useful if you have any more questions or possible ideas that, and topics we should explore in future videos in around around the fashion business space please drop it as a comment down below and we could possibly make that into a future video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a good morning, afternoon and evening wherever you are. Bye.